Well, today we spoke with Representative Buddy Carter, who is working with congressional officials to support the federal efforts in combating the coronavirus. His message for folks who don't think it's this serious, well, listen to the warnings of officials. I think that's the, absolutely the worst thing that we could do. Listen, we're all in this together. If you don't want to do it for yourself, then do it for others. This is an impact that's going to be felt by all of us. We know that the, the mean morbidity age for this particular virus is around 81. We know that the mean uh, rate the age for people being infected by it is around 61. Does that mean that young people aren't going to get it? No, that does not mean that at all. Does that mean that they're not going to have any effects that could, that could carry throughout their lifetime? No, it does not mean that. In fact, we know that some of the uh, some of the young people who have been infected with this over in Europe have shown signs of uh, respiratory problems that, last, that will, will last them the rest of their life. So they need to be taking this seriously. I'm, I'm very disturbed when I see the beaches full, when I see that people are still congregating and not following the suggestions and the outline of the, of the task force when they're telling us not to have more than 10 people together at one time to practice social distancing and to make sure that we're washing our hands and coughing into our, our arm and, and, and using tissues. All of those things are common sense things. And people think, well, I'm not showing any symptoms. Well, 80% of the people who are infected with this are asymptomatic. So that's, that's no excuse. Carter, who's also a pharmacist, talked about how new rules allowing compound pharmacists to make hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer could help with the increased demand.